Hello and welcome to another video. This is uh, Wes Diskin with Baron Heating, BaronGreenTeam.com, and uh, BaronHeating.com. I could list them all off, but uh, we're just at this house. We've got uh, just a great uh, setup here. We did um, conversion from an old farmhouse system that was an old 70% furnace to a five-stage uh, inverter system. It's our private label. It's made for us by Coleman. And so the Honeywell, this house is into two zones, the ductless acting as the third zone. You can hear the unit on right now, and it sounds pretty good. Keep in mind that if you are in my service area, these systems that we install have a 10-year parts, 10-year labor uh, warranty. They have a lifetime workmanship and materials warranty. We do your first year service free. We have a price match guarantee. If you submit a competitive proposal, I'll match it up, make sure everything's right, and we'll, we will match it if it truly matches. And then we also um, have in writing a risk reversal, 100%, no questions asked, money back guarantee. If you let me come into this house, in your home, and I do a full energy audit, and I take my time, and I do the infrared and duct blaster stuff and all that, and I, you know, have done my work, I will guarantee that that job's gonna meet your satisfaction. Um, Cause you know what, sometimes as professionals we're wrong. And we have given people's money back before, but the point is, is that we'll do it. Three bids, whatever, doesn't protect you. What's in writing protects you. So remember that. Um, okay, so. Five-stage inverter, that is the uh, 19 series Daikin. And let's go up and take a listen. Got some dogs following me around. Okay. I don't know if you can hear it, but inverters have a little bit of a, a whine to them, a little bit. Some people can't even hear that noise. Some people can. This unit's nice and quiet. I don't hear any compressor noise at all which I love, just fan noise. And then you have the ductless down here. I don't know if we can get in, we're mostly hearing its neighbor, but this thing's pretty much invisibly quiet. You can see we ran speedy channel up. That goes, that right there goes to the uh, furnace, and then that's heading to a head on the inside. All right, let's go take a look inside. That's the one thing I really liked about this house is that we were able to segregate the ductwork. We gutted the crawl space, redid all the ducting, uh, put down new vapor barrier and did the uh, enzyme and rodent control and everything. But being able to zone out the house so we have total control over everything. So there's the ductless in this area. It previously had baseboard. So that was, we're gonna be able to heat in here. We only had about three tons of ductwork and we had about a four ton load. So. We put the extra one ton in here. I'll take you up the ladder. This is where the furnace used to be, right here, and that's getting us down to our existing crawl space. And then up here, all right. So in relocating the furnace to the attic, we were able to mitigate the noise issue of the mechanical you know, stuff, but we were also able to uh, just compartmentalize everything really nicely. We have our Five Seasons electronic air cleaner. We've got uh, our supply coming off. This is a um, Honeywell static bypass damper. So we do want to pay attention to static whenever we're doing a zone system. Make sure that we have some kind of blow off in case a small zone calls and the system hasn't ramped down yet or whatever. We never want to have any um, problems there. So Honeywell bypass damper. And then you'll see we've got our zoning panel and some of our EIMs up there yeah so that's on right now you know the outdoor units on that's pretty quiet that is pretty damn quiet I'm very excited about that That was one of the number one things is we wanted this system to be quiet uh, we weren't as concerned outside but those two are awesome out there but inside we want it to be quiet and I am very impressed um, with uh, our gear here so there's that and then I'll show you thermostats. So the other thing that was important was just having um, as much control as possible. So again, we have the three zones using the Honeywell Prestige. But what I love about the Honeywell system, and again, what I liked about the, uh, the Coleman, was that it allows me to use 
non-proprietary controls, which then gets me into Honeywell, which then I can do averaging sensors. So we have that thermostat there, but that's not the whole house. And so we have an averaging sensor in here, and that's what that looks like. So we have three averaging sensors, including the thermostat on the main floor, and then we have three upstairs uh, in the bedrooms and hallway upstairs. So it's getting a real good capture of the entire space. All right, and I'll show you upstairs real quick, even though it's just the thermostat, but look at that. Okay, and I have it in test mode to run the system. So that's that. And we will exit all that. Do, do, do. So that's the Honeywell Prestige. Pretty nice thermostat. I use this a lot when someone says, I want a thermostat that is easy to use. It's very easy to use. Even though it looks fancy, it's much easier than any of the base thermostats are. Oh yeah, let's look at the uh, ductless. Just in case you haven't seen a uh, 19 series running or heard, you know, noise volume, this is the Daikin 19. Now if you can hear that, that's up on high speed. So you, know it's, you know it's running. Yeah, really nice air coming out of that. Oh. So I'm just, I'm in love with the system. It just, it looks and sounds amazing. And uh, the guys did just an excellent job on it. And if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.